You've been listening to the Hello from the Magic Tavern podcast, a fully independent production made possible. Wait, are we at the beginning? Oh, come on. I was in such a good mood. I was going to sleepwalk through the credits as per usual, shut down the equipment and be first in line for the new product reveal at the local pie barn. Rumor has it it's something called Oops All Crust. And now I... Ugh. Hey, if I do the credits now, do we all not have to listen? No, there might be legal ramifications. And I can't have that while the Chicago Zoning Board is considering my request to turn the Art Institute into a walk-in cape closet. Damn! Well, as they say at the beginning of every Planet Money, let's just get through this. People of Earth, the following podcast is not real. But don't take my word for it. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Neekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. Six and three-fourths years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal from the Burger King through the dimensional rift, and I use that to upload this podcast recorded here in the tavern, the strange familiar in the town of Nibblebottom at the base of the unnameable mountain in the magical land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, Chunt the Talking Chunt. What is Chunt? Ooh, yeah, a little squish in it. It's looking uh-huh. good, huh? Uh, sure, yeah. Remember when I ripped off all my fur and I got yeah. jacked? Um, this really, yeah. I've been digging this look, so I just kind of mm-hmm. kept it off. Uh, the fur does regrow, and I pluck it out, and it's very painful. But yeah. I feel like I feel like the people of Nibblebottom have really started to notice me. Like I noticed some of the other tables, the people are just like all looking over here. Mm-hmm. What an eye full of this. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, it's good. It's good. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, and oh, shit. Looks like you got a, a haircut. Looks uh, looks good. Looks looks good. Yeah. Got in a hair fight with someone. and uh, What's this now? I got in a hair fight. Okay. And, you know, that person just started ripping parts of my hair off. And it mm. kind of works. It kind of works for me. I'm sort of into it. Arnie, you idiot. Did you go see the barbarian? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's what they're supposed to do. A barbarian is supposed to fight you to rip out certain parts of your hair to mm-hmm. make it look uh, fresh and clean and sharp. Yeah, and it works. Although, you should see the other guy. No, I have. Yeah? Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't do any anything to him. No, of course. I, he's, a, he's a barbarian. He's here. Yeah, he. hair is hard to pull out. Although, yeah. I'm saying this to someone who last week. Who daily pulled, rips out all their hair. Yeah, mm-hmm. you just rip all your hair out. Yeah, you doing okay, buddy? I'm stressed. I know that you said on Earth you um, took your daily vitamins. Are you able to find any of those compounds no. here? And no, none, no vitamins, none of medications that I probably should be taking the whole time that I'm in this world. Yeah. You said you had pills that helped your brain that were shaped like Fred Flintstone? Mm-hmm. Well, look, I don't want to go into all the pill shapes. They're, they're, Fred is one of them. Ooh, what are all the pill shapes? Well, there's Wilma. And there's Bam Bam. Oh, so is that two pills? No, that's just one called Bam Bam. There's, it's just like oh. how your name is Chunt Chunt. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Mr. Chunt C. Chunt. <laughs> mm-hmm. And there's, uh, it might take me a really long time to explain Fred Flintstone's car to you, but kids love eating vitamins shaped like cars. Wait, so you're telling me on Earth vitamins have their own cars? Yes. Well, just the F- Flintstones vitamins. And are they like, is there like 7 million? Is there 8 million? Is there like 9 million of them? How many are there? Mm, 10,000 strong <laughs> and growing. Yeah, I tried to set you up for it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I walked you up to the front door with 7, 8, 9 million. Oh, it's 11 after that? But John, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to change oh, the why? subject. I'm oh. just a little stressed out because I... Hold on, real quick. Are you going to start apologizing every time you change the subject now? Yeah. Because I, I, I think figured. there's a backlog of... 5,000 changes of subject I'm owed? Oh, Apologies? Chunt. 
Ch- I'm so sorry. I need to introduce Usador. I am also joined by my other co-host, Usador the Wizard. I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow. Usador, I'm so sorry. Usador, I'm so sorry. I was I was talking to Chun about something else. I'm going to change the subject back to what oh. I was going to talk to him about. Well, but I'm uh, th- so the end sorry. of my thing was going to be I mm-hmm, was going to mm-hmm. damn you to hell for the rest of eternity for not sharing yeah, the secrets of Fred Flintstone. Sure, sure, sure. So, John, I'm a little worried about my boss. Oh, the Cooper? Winnie the Cooper? Winnie the town Cooper. You know, someone snuck into her coopery, into her coop. So am I in this episode, or am I just totally out of it now? You said, I'm so sorry. We're going to get to you. I promise. All right. Arnie, Um, why don't you just tell him what you told me Fred Flintstone always says? You said he says, like, yabba gagging do? He says, yabble do, pig. Yabble do. So somebody snuck into Winnie's coop. Someone snuck into Winnie's coop and stole some of her, whatever she makes there. I'm still learning exactly what that is. So her supply has been stolen by, I think, a competing Cooper. Oh, no. This douchebag Cooper came in and stole all this stuff and then disappeared. D.B. Cooper stole it all? Yeah. No one knows exactly who this db cooper is but they stole everything and they're gone and we don't know who they are are you sure they existed are you sure there was a theft or is this just urban myth ah i'm i guess i'm just taking winnie's word on it and to be fair she's a horse and i'm making a lot of assumptions about what she's saying to be fair a lot of us are horses (laughs) that's it (laughs) a lot of us are horses Oh, yes. Many of us are horses. I mean, not here at this table, but, you know. In the in world? In general. In all of Foon? Yeah, right. Sure. Well, anyway, sorry. Uh, if I get, if I feel, if I seem distracted, I'm just a little worried about. Oh, buddy, you always seem distracted. Oh, yeah. Okay. So then I'll just go. I won't, I won't feel bad about it then. It's yeah. maybe it's part of my charm. You always, uh, what is the phrase Arnie uses? You always foam it in. What's that? You always foam it, Tim? I have, I don't know what, so I mm. can't, I'm looking at a bird out the window. <gasps> where, where, where? <laughs> right? Look at that bird. Oh, what a beautiful bird. Oh, such a, a lovely uh, uh, bird with, with gray and white uh, markings uh, so that it can blend in here in these northern climes. Arnie, Arnie. Yeah, Hello, what? little bird. I feel like ever since you uh, decided to fake his own death, He's been mm-hmm. really engaged with nature, like yes, really I know. vividly seeing everything. I know. And also, like, he needs to <laughs> monologize it as well. It's like, appreciate it yourself. Don't make me, don't force me to appreciate it. Yeah, if anything, do a soliloquy. Like, I was the one that was excited about that bird, and then he got so excited and specific about it that I lost all enthusiasm for it. So long, bird. Fuck off, bird. Hey, now, I was having a very nice conversation with that bird. Usador, how you doing, bud? Uh, you deem to allow me to speak on the episode. Why, thank you, Arnold. I'm doing all right. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but in a couple of weeks, everyone assumes that I'm going to be dead. Two so I have weeks, to fake yeah. my own death. And I've been speaking to the ice elves here in Ooh. the northern realms. And I think that maybe they'll let me uh, stay with them for a while. That's fantastic. I love ice elves. There's uh, Arnie, I don't know if you know this. Ice elves can kind of fit anywhere in the frozen land. There's ice elves on the ice shelves mm-hmm. um there's cubes on your pubes uh What's... blocks on your cocks okay frozen on your toesins mm-hmm. saints on your tank <laughs> yes sure frozen pond on your pubis man yeah mm-hmm. uh-huh damn mm-hmm. doctor doctor <laughs> doctor terms huh wow You're welcome someone's been reading yes i read all the time speaking of reading i forgot to tell you all uh you know how i don't know 12 episodes ago or something, I mentioned how I opened up a uh, black and white smithery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where I, yes. make, I make weapons and shields that have the black and white coloration of a badger. Yes. Yeah. Well, today I read an order for a new adventurer in town who's <sighs> swinging through Nibble Bottom. So I stayed around the shop to meet them. And uh-huh. I'm pleased to say that I, I invited uh, the two of them onto our show. Should I bring them up now, Arnie? Yeah, Chum, Let me, oh, thank please. you so yeah. much for booking a guest. I've been so stressed about my boss that I didn't, I haven't done anything for the podcast this week. Yes, please join us up here at the tall table. We're, we're making it. Hold on. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello, everyone. How are you? Quite the climb. Arnie, Usador, please, uh, please meet the great adventurer. So I hear oh. Coral Loft. Coral and- Loft. 
yes, yes. Hello. Uh, uh, this is a lovely view from up here. Oh, okay. pleasure Thank to meet you. you. Thank yeah. you. Nice to meet you as well. And Mr. You are Mr. Uh, Ar- Arnold. Uh, you oh, him. Okay, yeah. Uh, his, he's uh, he's Arnie. Yes. No, yeah, I'm Arnie. You can call me Arnie. Uh, oh, okay, Mr. Arnie. Yeah. And uh, you Cor- are Coral. Ms- hey, Coral. Yes, yes. That's that's the dumbass I was telling you about. Oh, you, the dumb, the dumb. The, the guy who knocked himself out trying to tie his own shoes. Yes. I can't, I can't see who you're pointing. I can't see who you're pointing at. Oh, oh hey. Oh, don't worry. And about who's it. your friend here? Uh, this is one of my best compatriots, Miss Tiffany Scampy. Hello, hello. It's a pleasure to be here. I've been a long time listener, first time visitor, if you oh. want to say. Oh. Oh, well, I've then. got to tell you, a lot of birds have been listening to our recordings and then going to the four winds and repeating what they hear. You don't oh. think I know what the fucking birds are doing? Easy, buddy. Easy. I'm well, just saying. he is right. an angry individual. I've been meaning to ask, do we have any analytics on those birds? Not really. Um, okay. Sorry to say, yeah. So I we can't really monetize those birds in any way, as far as you can tell. Not yet. Yeah, Eventu- I, yeah. Eventually. Oh, maybe. no. I can turn them into money. Turn the birds Mr. into money? Arnold, may I? You, uh, you speak with such interesting words. These are fancy words. Are you an adventurer yourself? Please, first of all, it's Arnie. Mr. Arnold is my... F- Actually, Mr. Arnold is not my father. Mr. Arnold is Kevin Arnold's father from the Wonder Years. I'm Arnie. You can call me that. And I'm sorry, what was your question? Your, your words, it sound, you're very traveled. You speak in such a high regard. I, I just wondered if you were an adventurer as well. Oh, well... I am from another world, so I come from a sophisticated, fancy talking world. What are you talking about? You adventure your ass out of bed at 2 p.m. I have been all over town this week looking for whatever Coopers make, so I'm pretty busy. Tiffany, he said he's from another world. Do you think he might know of some of the trinkets we've discovered? I don't know. I mean, there's perchance he does. I mean... (sighs) Should should we tell him what we came with today? On your adventures, you have found some trinkets. Oh, oh, please share. Tell us, tell yeah. us, tell yes, us, okay. tell us about your adventures and yes, the trinkets. Yes, yes. Uh, so, what what sort of got me into adventuring? I started noticing all around Foon. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, we would find little trinkets. You see, Tiffany here used to be a mittens referee, yes. and I would. Oh. Yes. I would travel to watch her at all the mittens games. Wow, wow, uh, wow. Take my ref away. I see what you did there. I told you Mr. Chen was so fantastic. And, and let's speak of the elephant in the room. Your your hair looks a little different. Oh, yeah. I've been uh, ripping it out. I kind of grow it out when I'm at the black and white smithery just to kind of help my sweating so I don't become too greasy, you know. Oh. But I uh, ripped it out uh, earlier today. Oh, P.S., here is your black and white uh, battle axe. Tiffany, look at this. This will come in very handy. Look at it. It's so beautiful. I know. I can't wait to swing this about. Uh, Do we happen to have anything that is maybe uh, anti-greasing so we can help our our somewhat furry friend here? Mm. No. But I do have some of these trinkets. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks. Before we get into that, I, I just want to clarify that I, I I don't want to speak of the elephant in the room because he's a friend of mine. Oh, hello, sorry. Roger. So, sorry, Mr. Roger. Oh, he's sitting with my friend Patrick Durham. That guy's a huge fucking asshole. He really is. Is he oh, southbound? Yes. Yeah, he. You. Oh, you. Do you know? Or just on your adventures, you hear tale? Oh yes, I, I speak to the uh, the brothers Primus. Sometimes they tell me of the southbound. Patrick Oh, very cool. Oh, Tiffany, before I forget, I also made you, um, at my black and white smithery, I made you a uh, whistle. This is a war whistle. Uh, if you blow on that, help should come somehow. Oh, this is a wonderful. I, I won't use it here because I do not want to scare uh, mm-hmm. the elephant that is in the room that we have yeah. referred to at this point because he's, uh, Roger seems like a very large individual. But oh, yeah. this is something that reminds me of my days back when I was refing for the Mittens, Mittens League. And unfortunately, it's something that I don't do nowadays. Mm. I've, I've put that part behind me, and I'm, I'm fully invested into adventuring with Coral here. So we will have to put this along with the battle axe. Maybe we can hang it up like a nice little ornament. Oh, uh, oh. That's, that's wonderful that you've, you've led this part of your life, and you saw that there, uh, there was a new chapter in your life opening, and you've uh, committed yourself to it. I say bravo. 
Thank you, thank you. It was it was very hard to walk away, but as you know, there's a lot of rules mm-hmm. and mittens that are, are hard to enforce, and yeah. people break rules all the time, and eventually you, you take one too many metal chairs to the head, and you become oh, blind in one eye, and it's oh, very no. easy to be distracted, and also, no yeah. one just weren't very good. Hey, sure. yeah, I, that's, that's an opinion. I'd and like to not it, talk about that. And is it tough as a ref who's blind in one eye when people in the stands who are, I'm sure, being jerks are yelling like, yeah, you're blind, ref, and the person next to them has to be like, well, they're actually only blind in one eye. That's true. It's I've only missed things on the right side of the field, not on the left side of the field. So it really just depends on how many other referees are in the game that day. It's quite difficult, really. It's just too much pressure. It's too much pressure. I, I couldn't do it without two good eyes. I needed yeah. something new. And I met Coral, and yeah. that's, that's how we ended up here. That said, it's got to be a great trick for remembering your left from your right. Oh, very mm. much so. It's yeah. like, is it dark or is yeah. it light? <laughs> oh, easy. I think oh. one of the hardest rules to enforce is that when the rules get broken three times, then there's 10 minutes of free time when anyone can break all the rules. Mm-hmm. Yes. That to me is the weirdest oh, rule of open all. Season, that is yeah. my favorite part, actually. I, oh, I and love, it's just open season? Chaos. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's fun to watch, but I'm sure it's hard to ref. It's very hard to ref, especially when you have the, the influx of birds coming in, especially in the change of the seasons when the birds are birds. flying from one part of Foon to another. Mm-hmm. It just, it makes games incredibly challenging to ref. And I'm so happy I don't have that stress left in my life. Thank you again for the gift, Chunt. I very much appreciate it. And it's given me a bit of memory of this wonderful time in my life. But yes, I want to talk about uh, all of the adventures we go on today and recently and all of the things we have planned. Oh, yes. Well, you have these trinkets here before us. Uh, please uh, show us. Yes, some. I'm yeah, so. You had uh, some sort of copper pushpin or oh, brass tacks. Yes, yes. Mm. Uh, so this little disc I found in a field during one of Tiffany's mittens games. And it I think it's an omen because it says is dead on the top of it. I, I showed it to Tiffany and I, I think she said she said it looks like it says Peepsy and that just seems weird to me. I, it, mm-hmm. it clearly says is dead. So the question is who is dead? Oh. Or maybe someone was dead and this has been since removed from them. See, that's exactly. part of the wonder of adventuring is we find these things and we're not actually sure where they come from or who they belong to. Or yes, it's, it looks like it could fit on top of a bottle or something, but mm-hmm. I, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like a little hat for a bottle, some sort yes. of uh, bottle of hat. Bottle hat's the best term, I think. Mm-hmm. I like oh, bottle yeah. hat. Bottle hat. Bottle hat. I hate to, you know, earth no, you explain don't. to this to you, but um, I think this might be something from my world. What? How could that be? On my world, these little Bottles discs. Wear hats. Yeah, these little hats go on magical elixirs on my world. And <gasps> Arnie, I've never heard you talk like this. In my world, ha- bottle wear a hat. <laughs> yeah, in my yourself? world, yeah. Have you ever noticed how on my world, bottles wear a hat, and on this world, hat wears you? Arnie, you're thinking of a cork, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> no, Dumbass. no, this is this is a cap <laughs> for a magical He's elixir. Using a cork. Yeah, and this is kind of how you would experience this elixir in my world. You would go to a restaurant, and you would order a Diet Coke, and they would say, will this do? And you'll then you say, no, but you don't have any choice, but you have to have this instead. What is this Diet Coke you speak of? Yeah, they take oh. Coke and they dye it like a different color, so you're snorting up blue or green. Sounds like Moglob a little bit. Oh, yeah, it, it does sound like Morglorb. It does. Do you have any? They sell Morglorb by the bottles in your world, Arnie? Sort of, yeah. I mean, it's very addictive. And that's the thing. Like, I'm, I have to say, like, with some of the hardest parts of me being in Foon the first few weeks was, you know, sort of coming off of my Diet Coke addiction. That was the hard part. Hey, uh, Ch- Chant, I just real yeah, quick yeah. aside here. Yeah, um, of course. I'm trying to humor Arnie here, but this is the most Thank ridiculous you. explanation I've ever heard. You were not kidding. He is such a dumbass. Yeah, he's the biggest dumbass. And I think he makes a lot of it up. I think he wants a lot of attention. So he'll just like start speaking and like try and say something real like wild. So yeah, yes. like a bottle, a bottle wears a hat. Tiffany, do you, do you hear that? A bottle wears a hat. Wears like, a hat. This clearly, is absolutely preposterous. I don't clearly understand. Clearly someone has written a message that someone is dead on this tiny little shield. Yes, yes, yes. It, it, it's the only exp- okay. Anyways, okay. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Okay. Yes, Arnie. That oh, is yeah, wonderful. Arnie, you're so, oh, so cool. <laughs> okay. Arnie, Arnie, Arnie. Yeah, chun, chun, chun. Oy, Arnie, oy, Arnie, Arnie. Oi, 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 oi. Hey, should we take a quick break? Let's take a quick break. Okay. Should we tell our guests? <laughs> Will the guests know? Are we taking a break? 
Oh, ah. they know. They know. Ah. They, they heard everything. They know. They, they heard everything. Roger, run! Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. All right, so I'm excited to hear Coral Loft a little bit more about your adventures. You find these trinkets anywhere, or do you, like, I don't know, go into tombs, say, or... Yes, yes, occasionally I will uh, adventure inside of a crypt, you know, mm. or the occasional tomb, if you will. Sure. Uh, I'll just rummage about. They call me, you know, the crypt rummager sometimes. <laughs> sure. Um, it rolls off the tongue. Coral I, loft crypt rummager. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, Kate, Tiffany, did you happen to? Um, oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 whoa, whoa, uh, sorry. Um, Coral, what, hmm? what was that? Did you, did you, sorry, did you have something hmm? in your throat or? Uh, it just seemed like your voice changed. Oh, you're no. an, an adventurer. Like maybe you have to adapt your voice depending on who you're speaking to. Okay. Are yeah. You? Like so. Uh, Coral, okay. Coral, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell no. him. No, they mustn't know. No, Coral, wait. don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay, I won't tell you. No, please. No, no, no. <laughs> Coral, tell us and, and oh, say so it into nice. the microphone. We gotta walk away from this with content. I don't think they're ready. I think they're ready. Okay, so the whole voice thing, it's kind of like your action music, you know, like uh, instead of having a minstrel like travel with me to like play danger music, like they do in all the uh, recanting of tales, I have the voice and it, it kind of gets me excited to adventure. Well, it's hard to do a voice all the time. <coughs> Whoa, it's Yusuro, hard to do a voice the all the fuck? time. Yusuro, who is that? Is he what do you sick? mean? I just, just a little frog in my throat. His What's name is mean? also Roger. <laughs> Have you ever noticed how many Rogers there are around here? Isn't that so weird? many Rogers. Lots of Rogers and Foods. So many Rogers. Yes. So, uh, Chunt, thank you so much for the battle axe. It will come in very handy because yes. Tiffany and I are planning another adventure. We thank, are. thank you for being vulnerable about your voice. That's so. Yeah. That's, I I kind of like that. I think I might try. It, it's almost like a secret source of power or energy. Exactly. You, you kind of amp yourself up. That's what I've been trying to tell Tiffany for so long. She thinks I'm ridiculous. She thinks it's silly. She's like, why don't you just go in there? Just go get the treasure. And I'm like, no, I can't just go in there and get the treasure. I need a fancy voice. And then I put this on and then I feel invincible. It's impractical. Like we have so many adventures we need to hit. We need to get all of these trinkets. And you're just, you're taking up so much time with all these silly voices. We just need well, to get down I, to, to brass tacks. I get nervous, okay? Who of us climbed the great mountain Morthogulus in the northeast region? Hmm? Amazing feet. Uh, it was Thank Morthogulus. you. I was scared out of my mind to do that. But when I started talking like this, it, the winds mm -hmm. blew in my favor and the birds sang a song of my tireless feats and... The next thing you know, we were upon the top. Were we not, Tiffany? We were. Yes, it helped. It helped. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Yes, the, the voice did help. And can I ask Coral Professional or Professional, when these birds sang your feats, do you have any analytics on that? Because we're really trying to figure out how we can track. Arnie, Coral is I, telling us about accent ascension, and you're oh. trying to bog us down with analytics? Okay, okay. I don't partake in analytics with uh, birds or any other sort of animals. That's just it not would be my, cloacal lyrics, Not I my believe. jam. <laughs> just not my jam. It's definitely well, not something you do on the first meeting. Well, a lot of us are horses. Now, a really cute centaur, maybe. Can I just say, I've gotten jam in my analytics before, and it is so hard to get out. So, um, if I may ask, Tiffany, you said, uh, sorry, just the way you said this was so interesting. You said we have to do a lot more adventures. Do you have, like, a punch card, or are you under um, payment by some person who's paying you to go on these adventures? I don't know what I'm at liberty to say. I just know that, you know, there's there's so much of the world. Foon is an expansive place, and there's so many trinkets to collect, and... Perchance we are being paid handsomely to gather some of these things, and, you know, that's that's really all I can divulge at this time. Okay, fair enough. Shh, don't fall for their wily good looks. I know. Oh, and the, the hair that's half growing back, it's just, it's so delicious. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this trinket I find quite intriguing. This silver disc, it's somewhat larger than the is-dead disc, and, and it says, 
Enigma, sadness part one. What could that mean? I don't know, but it definitely puts me in a pure mood. <laughs> and, you, and you said you found this where? <laughs> now that's what I call a rune. <laughs> <laughs> it's so intriguing. It, it's pure silver. Arnie, have you ever seen such a magical token such as this? I mean, I haven't seen one of these outside of a dorm room, I don't think ever. Ooh, look at how the light is bouncing off it. It's its almost like some sort of jewel. Is there a case we could put it in to keep it uh, safe, to keep it from being uh, harmed? Here's another one, and it says jewel. Oh, put it in that one. Well, I put it this disc inside of this disc? Yeah, it would be like a fun game. It also it looks like it has a resale sticker on it. Wixy Mixy? Do you, do you know anything about the Wixy Mixy, Arnie? Is Wixy Mixy sounds like something that you... You take a candle in a kitchen and make something with it? Wix, wixy mixy. Ernie, do you have that on Earth? I'm sorry, I'm not. <laughs> they must not ah. have wixy mixies in his region, but this one came from a wall. This is incredible. These are incredible trinkets. I, I, how much gold will you take for these? Or are they already promised to someone else? These, unfortunately, are already promised to someone else. But, oh, come on. But, but we do have something today that... <gasps> That isn't yet spoken for. That mm. that you may be able to purchase, and it's Ooh. exciting. It's this white cloth. We're not quite sure what it is. It might be uh, a dress for a small creature. It might be. Uh, oh, sorry, white uh, cloth. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, is it flavored? Is it like okay? So the corner of it is very peculiar. The corner of it does taste much like what we have here uh, when we barbecue things. And Hmm. this other corner tastes like an orange citrus. It is the craziest thing. There's another corner that ends up tasting a lot like spiced potatoes. Oh, oh, I miss those so much. And look, look right in the middle. There's some sort of imprint of lips and then several digits and it says, call me, call me. Must be some sort of spell, call me. Yusor, can you break this code? Color me. Color me. It sounds like I'm going to pull someone's heart out. I mean, I, for my world, it's a, it's a, it's a napkin. I, I think a it's, napkin? Arnie, I think that's a little reductive. I, the spell, it makes your kinfolk fall asleep. <gasps> that's it. Oh, my. Color me. napkin. Uh, Arnie, uh, everyone knows that napkins are made of cloth, not whatever I, this paper is. Uh, Substances. Well, you sir, I could say everyone knows that the spell to take out someone's heart is Kali Ma, not Kali Me. Come on. I said it sounded sort of like I was doing that. Onam Shiba, Onam Shiba. Okay, no, see, um, <laughs> if you're to rip someone's heart out, well, never mind. Uh, th- well, that's a whole other conversation. Oh, you've done that before. Yeah, you know what? I could keep talking about napkins, but I want to hear about you ripping people's heart out. <sighs> I don't like to brag. But one time, Tiffany and I were in this cave. Was it a cave? I think it was. Was it? It was. It, wet. it was wet and damp. And um, Tiffany backed up into what we thought was a wall of bone sacrifices, but they were they were liches. And uh, oh. mm-hmm. yeah, so the clearly the only thing to do is to uh, reach inside of this creature and pull its heart out. Wow, that is so cool. Did you keep the heart as a trinket? I took a bite out of it and held it above my head. <laughs> oh, I took wow. a bite as well. It's not really my my type of thing, but, you know, you have to try everything once. Uh, uh, but show us more of these wonderful trinkets. Oh, I didn't know you were going to bring this. This, oh, this, uh, this is just some paper. It's got numbers on it. This is one, zero, zero, and this old guy... Ben, Benjamin Franklin? I don't know. I'm just going to rip this up because this is clearly worthless. Like it trash it to smells me. weird. I don't no, like no, this. No, is no. terrible. This, yeah, no, that, that guy looked like a fucking freak. Yeah, that was, yes, just, the yes. drawing was awful. <laughs> 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 what, what kind of artwork is that? It's terrible artwork. Terrible. Looks like somebody <laughs> shrunk his glasses. And what was oh. all that crap on the back? Uh, I, go, I, go fly a fucking kite, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, you mean the, the drawings? Because on my world... Statistically speaking, most money has crap on it. That's the thing you tell us about Earth? (laughs) You guys are just tired of me talking about how there's just trace amounts of excrement on everything. Everywhere. Even my world. I know what this is about. The other day, Arnie tried to show me his little 
secret chest that he keeps locked away under his bed. He said he has thingamabobs in there. <gasps> 19 or 20, he says, it's no big deal. He says, who cares? And I didn't want to see him. So now he's jealous that we're ooing and aahing over all these trinkets. I didn't know Arnie had a secret chest. Yeah, to be fair, it was just like a spoon and shit. Well, no, it's not a spoon. It's a fork, and it's what I use to comb my hair. <laughs> what? Do you know how much food is in your hair, dude? Like I said, food and excrement. There's trace amounts of it everywhere. Thank God you went and got your hair pulled. Tiffany, do you do you still have the uh, the special gift that I told you to bring? The gift? The, the gift. This small little thing? It's a... Yes. Oh. So this... I wanted to say thank you to Chunt for Aww. taking the time to make us these lovely weapons that we're going to use in our quests. Oh, please. Uh, I don't need gifts. Just pay me. <laughs> well, you know, please. When, when you see this, you're going to love... I, when I saw this, it screamed you, and like it, it literally screamed you, and I had to squish it so that it would stop screaming. It was very it, loud. It's very, very loud. loud as, a little yeah, squish, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what is it? Oh my so, gosh. It's a rock <gasps> in the shape of a bird. And I knew you, out what? of everyone, would absolutely love yes, it. Yes, oh, I love oh, rock yeah. shaped like bird. That's my whole thing is birds. But I Oh, rocks I, and birds, that's my whole shtick. I love I, it so much. I'm always talking about damn. rocks and birds and how birds and rocks and how, you know, pebbles and canaries, that whole thing. Thank you. I'm you sorry, but hold on one moment. I, I am you. sorry, but I, earlier in this very episode, was talking to a bird, and I was lamenting the fact that I didn't get to learn about Fred Flintstone, whose name is Two Rocks, and now this gift is given to Chunt. I <laughs> couldn't be more furious. <laughs> you, sir, calm down. A lot of us are horses. Also, Usador, stop talking in a Chandler sort of way. Also, Usador, you're talking about two rocks. Go hunt some dinosaurs. I mean, for real, get out of here. Yeah. Could I be any more worthless in this episode? (laughs) Wait a minute. You're wearing all of my fur. Why are you wearing all of my fur? Because you left it aside. And you're doing lunges? You're not a friend. Oh. Mm. Look, Usador, Usador, it's all right. Sometimes it happens. You know, people get in into the podcast and they sort of like misremember who is what. Like, it's like sure. I was telling you, whenever I look online and I see someone's like tweets, I love Chunt. I'm like, oh, they probably mean me. They hey, probably mean <laughs> me, right? Hey, Arnie, can we title this episode the one where Usador's an asshole? Yeah. That's the title of every episode. <laughs> hey, well, how dare you? <gasps> look, another silver disc. Soundgarden. Black Hole Sun. Is that a threat? That's a single? We should pivot. (laughs) Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including... All the Magic Tavern spin-offs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern. It's interesting that you're called the Crypt Rummager. Uh, Audie one time said I looked like the Crypt Keeper, and then he just laughed and laughed. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't get it, personally. But Why would one keep a crypt? Yeah, but I, they're so s- messy. It seems, seems very high maintenance. Smelly. Yeah, it seems like just like, you know, maybe move out to the garden or, or somewhere else, you know. Yeah, or just raise it and renovate. That's not a bad idea. Get those, uh, what are they called, the Crypt Brothers? You know, those creepy twins? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. I. I They're I, always I, finishing each other's basements. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking creepy twins. Well, I, I'm. I'm sorry. I got upset before the break, but I. I was just so jealous of your. Uh, of your bird-shaped rock, and. Um, well, it's. It's very lovely. You. You should be very thankful, and. 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 Uh, and thank our guests for this wonderful gift. Well, Usador, uh, uh, Coral, Tiffany, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Tiffany, I forgot to. To give you uh, another thing I made for you. It's this. Yes? Um, it's black and white chainmail uh, for my black and white slippery. <gasps> uh, the black and white uh, runs down in stripes uh, oh, across the shirt. Oh, my favorite pattern, my favorite yeah. colors. How could you have known? I <gasps> just, you know, I was. I keep a lot of um, a lot of people who come into my shop will bring me dismembered parts, like uh, legs and arms and feet. Mm. And As I you had do. These, yes. I had these feet in my locker, and I was um, taking them out, and cleaning it out, and I thought it might fit you. So here you go. 
Oh, oh, let me let me try it on real quick. Ooh, the, the chainmail is so well made. It's he, it's rather rather heavy. And you just did that. Well, no, I had it in the back of my footlocker. Wonderful. That's <laughs> John, you're amazing. Thank you. Uh, when is, it rains, it'll shrink to kind of fit you. This, I, I think it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. I, I can't thank you enough for this wonderful gift. And you're welcome. I have a whistle and this chain mail. You yeah. know, if I could still see out of my right eye, oh. I might go back to Mittens. Who knows? You, sir, you, sir can I talk yes. to you for a second? Yes, yes. I was going to say I'll give you this rock bird if you hold up an <gasps> open flame at the end of this set, but now... I'm going to say I'll give you Well, you're just going to give him a free rock bird? Hey, Well, not for free. We're not talking to you. Okay. But you, so now, I will give you this rock bird if you give Tiffany Scampy back her eye. Well, I know you didn't take it. I know you didn't take it, but, like, can you make Tiffany Scampy a new one? Please? Sure. Maybe, like, a black and white striped eye? Is that too much? (laughs) It's a little little over the top. I mean, really, we're just looking for something functional. Yeah, a little Mm. on the eye. Uh, I, I'm going to assume you want one that matches the other one that you still have. Is that, yes. is that acceptable? Uh, yes, the it's, a little, it's a little purple, if you can mm-hmm. see. Yeah. There's yeah, some little. flecks of flecks oh, of red. Like mm-hmm. a deep, Lovely. deep purple. And, and I'm sorry, Usador, it, mm-hmm. uh, it might be hard to concentrate because it, it seems like a fight is breaking out. Ro- I think Roger, the oh, elephant, is, uh, fight, is right fighting back. with that mouse. Sorry, I, I've got to go. I've got to go. I'll, I'll be your eye in a second. I'll be right back. Which Roger? Is it the frog or the elephant? I think it's Roger the elephant is fighting Roger the mouse. And Roger the frog is just watching and being a real asshole There's about it. There's a lot of frogers in this town. There's a lot of There's frogers in this town. There's the rabbit. <laughs> yeah, a little dance in the corner. But look over there. There's Patrick Durham. He's fighting Roger the rhinoceros. He already knew what happens when an elephant fights a rhinoceros. Fuck if I know. Now they're like throwing they're throwing chairs at each other. Whoa, watch out! Tiffany! Tiffany! Ah! Oh. oh, her other eye. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> just, oh. Oh, oh, it hurts. Just, so bad. Oh, no. If you, if you just, let me, if I just... No, uh, don't touch it! Don't touch it! Uh, oh. Uh, Your hands have been in crypts. They're disgusting. Oh, don't touch yeah. my eye. Crypt hand. Oh. You don't want to get crypt eye. Uh, oh. Usador? Usador? All right, Usador? you're out of here. Get out of here, Roger. So come which, back. Which Roger? But not all of you. Not all of you. Not, not yep. everyone. Just Roger. I'm mad at Roger. I'll Usador, talk to him tomorrow. Usador, um, buddy, okay. hey, listen, if I gave you uh, the bird rock and I threw uh-huh. in for free a new staff uh, from my uh, black and white Ooh. smithery, would you give Tiffany two eyes? I certainly will. I shall do it right now. But wait, there's but- more. <gasps> you can also have these... <laughs> Silver disc that you loved, because Tiffany is such a wonderful friend of mine. Oh, thank you. Oh, the thank silver you. discs. I'm yes. sorry, I'm just in a lot of pain right now. I shall, first I shall hit you with this healing rock. <laughs> oh, ah! Mm, that, oh, right now. I now. hope that was, I hope that was necessary. Yes, very. And now, prepare to see the power of Usador's magic. It should come as no surprise. Here unto Tiffany, I say, I mean, could you have any more eyes? Whoa, I, I, I have so many eyes. Wow. Oh, I can see more than I've ever wanted to see. Nah, it's no problem at all. Oh. oh, this is weird. Remember that bird I told to fuck off before? Yeah. It's back at the window and it's holding a chair. <laughs> is it a wooden chair or a metal chair? <laughs> Tiffany, look out! Ah! <laughs> oh, Right in all of her eyes. Oh, no. I'm blind oh, again. How yeah. ironic that a what chair has four legs. Uh, some people just aren't meant to have eyes. They're not. Oh, oh I knew this career had a, had a shelf life, and it was, oh, I'm so frustrated and upset. I had vision again for about two seconds, and it's been taken from me. Those damn wooden chairs. Here, now. Let this time pass where we've all been so jocular and repair what Tiffany had that once before was ocular. Arnie, Arnie, did you sir always do like fucking limericks when he did spells? What is going on? <laughs> no. I think, I think yeah, he's showing off. I think he's, he's showing off. He's like, let slowly. us here now end our fighting and division and let Tiffany have like the most division. Uh, fuck, I fucked that up completely. <laughs> Arnie, it's like he's auditioning for improvised cock ticklers. I know. Like, we get it, Usador. The word that you know you're going to rhyme with 
you put second, and then whatever bullshit word you put first, yeah, that's something rhyme something with hip, it. something something hippopotamus. These mimosas are bottomless. We can all fucking do it, buddy. We just don't bust out couplets for nothing. Yeah. So wait, are are there mimosas or no? Oh, uh, there can be. Uh, let me grab you all a drink. You've been so kind. Uh, Coral, what would you like? We have there's rainbow bowls. We kind of own the place. Ooh, I think I will do a rainbow bowl. Yeah, absolutely. Tiffany, um, I know you can't see the menu. Do you want... Um, I want to uh, be able to see again. I don't see that on... Oh, oh yes, of course. Uh, you, sir, do you mind... Uh... Sure. You shall see better than any multifaceted prism. The longest word is anti disestablishmentarianism <laughs> oh, She's oh. covering her ears. Mm. <laughs> I think she hated that spell. <laughs> I, I can see, but I only have half of an eye now. Oh, oh perfect. It's enough to see a menu. I think I'll have a yeah. rainbow bowl. Oh, okay. perfect. Uh, let me get a, Arnie, do anything? Um, God, I, all I can think of now is I really want a Diet Coke. Well, many of us are horses. I'll be right back. Usador. Yes? Remember over the, the time? When, remember the time when we fell in love? Usador, do you remember over Winter Solstice break, things got a little rowdy in here? And we were seeing how many chairs we could throw into the ceiling and, and make them stick up there. Uh-huh. I don't want to say anything. But the one right over Tiffany's head is coming really <laughs> loose. Okay, I'm back with the rainbow bowls. Here you go, Coral. Uh, Tiffany, I'm going to raise yours a little bit higher, if you don't mind. Uh, oh, yes, sure. I'll grab my eyes. Oh, oh. has fallen into my one good half eye. Oh, my goddesses. What is... <laughs> <laughs> I have to think of another fucking rhyme. <laughs> Why did our adventures take us here? This has not been good for my previous or future career choices. I mean, my eyes are terrific. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, that chair didn't uh, crush Tiffany's eye. It just popped out. Here, let me put it back in. Oh, yes. here, uh, Tiffany, oh. Just, oh, she stepped on a rake and it flew right oh. her face and popped. Oh. Oh. This is not good. You hate, to, you hate to not yeah. see that. I can't see anything. This isn't funny. This time it wasn't a chair, at least. <laughs> Maybe something with socket. Coral, while we buy Usador some time, um, can you tell us about, you just have such a wonderful appearance. Can you tell us mm -hmm. about uh, kind of what you're wearing, who you're wearing? Yes, I am wearing a sort of a red half sleeveless top piece to accentuate my bosom because mm -hmm. let's be I didn't honest, want to mention they're it. They're very yeah. distracting. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like it. in adventures you kind of encounter a lot of dudes. Like it's it's a sure, dude sure. heavy oh, profession. Sure. Sure. Oh, can I so, ask? Is that a, is that a sports tunic? I guess you could call it that <laughs> a little bit. But it, it accentuates all the curves, mm -hmm. if you will. And uh, when you encounter some rogue blokes, it's nice to have a little uh, distractive advantage. Sure. Absolutely. I, I was going to say, that top seems to have a lot of extra physics going on. Jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> I could tell you that when I did see, I, I did appreciate mm -hmm. uh, all the views that your tops provided. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very healthy. <laughs> Top shelf. I, uh, Top shelf. The thing, the thing I got confused about, though, is when uh, you took a break and went to the restroom and you, uh, you were kind of like stuck in the wall over there for a minute. <laughs> she also sometimes has a hard time walking through hallways and uh -huh. has to turn very slowly, leaning Shh. from one side to the left in right, order right. to fully oh, yeah. point herself in the That's proper direction mm -hmm. and move forward. Right. It makes adventuring very, very cumbersome. But it, makes it reading does. easy because uh, there's an open book right on top of your ample bosom there. Oh, also watch this. Take the rainbow bowl and just... <laughs> wow. <Hi. laughs> I can't even see what you're doing, but I know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> you, sir, did we buy you enough time, buddy? Yeah, here we go. Uh, here now, let this friend of Coral Loft, this adventuring archaeologist... Have eyes again, because I guess I'm a fucking ophthalmologist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're back. They're back. Don't do anything. Everyone nobody, sit perfectly still. Nobody move. Quick, Tiffany, get under Coral's <clears throat> bosom. I'm hiding under the bosom. <laughs> Can you pass down that rainbow bowl? It was quite delicious. Yes, yes. There there you you go. Go. Just... Thank you, thank you. Well, what an adventure we've had today. Yeah. yeah. We kind of had a little adventure. Uh, Coral, you have your, your battle axe, which is kind of a trinket. Uh, Tiffany, you have uh, new eyes and a new shirt and a whistle, which are trinkets. So yes. uh, you've added to your to your treasure. I'm just glad it's warm in here. Otherwise, I might get cold and poke Tiffany in the eye. Oh, I would yeah. not do that. My, my eyes are new. I do not want them to be damaged anymore. 
Well, here in Nipple Bottom, uh, Nibble Bottom, um, <laughs> I do know Tiffany that I don't think they really know or like mittens very much. Um, you said you retired because of the eye. Mm-hmm. I, okay. I retired because of the eye, and we we all know that they're the traditionalists with the rule sets, correct? Where mm-hmm. you had the 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 people that you know didn't like the bird rule, for instance, where you catch sure. a, a bird and it makes the score very lopsided and whatnot, right. not unlike uh, a coral's bosom. Uh, as we may yeah, say, I was, but I was going to say they're kind of they're kind of telling time. It's like uh, a little bit, a little bit. I'm, I, I mean, like I am hiding underneath them, you know? so it's it's a potential that I'm I'm the one actually making them sort of lopsided. But anyway, there's there's just a lot of uh, resentment towards the people that originally wrote the rules, and uh, it's not really something that I wanted to get into the middle of. So yes, I had the issue with the eye, but yes, I felt it was just time to step back and away, and maybe look and see what other careers were out there. Sure. And, yeah, and Coral, I guess we never asked what was it that originally got you into crypt uh, scrummaging, rummaging. rummaging, Arnie. I just always had a penchant for adventure. I, mm. I would love being a little girl traveling around, getting into all sorts of tight crawly spaces. And mm. uh, once I found I could make it a little bit of coin doing it. Oh yeah, it's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, is it rude to ask, um, sorry, I know this is so gauche, how much do adventurers make uh, per year? If you're a good adventurer, you can make... Which we are, which we are. We are great, wonderful adventurers. Uh, You can make upwards of about, I would say, 1,500 gold. Wow. Mm. And you mentioned before, sort of, you sort of cryptically referred to your, the person that's paying you for all of this? Mm, Nope. Don't know what you're talking nope. about. Nope. Mm-hmm. Didn't, didn't, oh, didn't refer to them. That. Mm-hmm. Nope, you have some sort of patron who wants to buy all of these trinkets up? You may, may, maybe. May, that, the, might, that might be a thing. Probably. Who's to tell? Who's yeah, to tell? You know, you You'll know, be maybe. very cagey about it. Uh, uh, yeah. You can just tell us who it is. We won't mind. Uh, it, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, look at the time. Yes. Look at the, uh, we are all Wait, look at the time. She, she just looked out in her bosom. <laughs> yeah. We should, we should. <laughs> she, she, has, she has a watch on there as well that she's balancing oh. next to. The rainbow bowl. Probably hit the old road. <laughs> yes, we have we have many crypts to rummage. Quite a long climb down from this table. So yes, it's very very far very, down. This is very strange. <laughs> oh, you're is you're tired as well. No, <laughs> Arnie, Arnie, ask one of your disarmingly stupid questions. Oh, uh, um, perhaps they'll tell us whatever secret is they're holding. So you, uh, don't give us any names, but the person that pays you, like, do they poop? Yes. Well, is that a question about buttholes? I mean, look, the, the poop could come out anywhere, really. There's, there's I mean, an innie and an Audi, typically, correct? Yes, that's correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. Unless you have an Audi and an Audi. That's true. Oh. That's true. Yeah, I guess it depends on what you feel like. Sure. So you're saying that the person that pay, that's paying you has two buttholes? Not saying they don't have one buttholes. Mm. It doesn't have to be two. It doesn't not have to be two. That's true. Okay, fine, Arnie. Are you happy? I've been paying these two to collect trinkets. <laughs> Is that what you wanted to hear? <laughs> Is that why they showed up and immediately gave you a trinket? <sighs> yes, I had them find me a bird rock, and I had them give it to me in front of Usador just to piss them off. I've been trying to just do more on the podcast to piss off Usador, and I thought what? I'd figure out the perfect scheme. I've bef- I befriended these two... I don't know, four years ago or something, and I thought, <sighs> listen, ultimately, down to brass tacks, I'm sorry. At the end of the day, I'm sorry, okay? I, I don't understand why you'd want to make me angry on the show. I don't know, you're just in your own little world of like, Wait, ah, b- b- spells. Your whole thing is making Ani angry, and my whole thing is, ah, spells. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to mix up the dynamic, and I guess... Okay, I, guess, I think that's fair. I get it. It's been, I guess a, I, it's been a few years. I guess I, no offense, Tiffany, lost sight of what's important, and... None taken. <laughs> I apologize. So listen, let's... Uh, Tiffany, Coral, here's the rest of the money I owe you, and just go adventure for whatever you want to adventure for. Thank you, Chad. That... Nope. <laughs> no one has really ever... No one has really ever done that for Tiffany and I before. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I want to fish you for. Wait, wait, stop crying. He underpaid us. This uh, is a Are you serious? Uh, yeah. yeah, we're like, we're short. Of, we're 
we're short a few gold here. Uh, um, Roger took him. Which Roger? <laughs> Uh, right, right. Ro- the 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 rich Roger, Roger Sterling over there, the man that's made of sterling silver. Didn't Chunt give you a battle axe, Coral? <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, okay. Maybe we can give him a little bit of the battle axe, and he can give us the gold that he owes us. Chunt, run! <laughs> Chunt, run! <laughs> Jump from the table! Everyone, run! Run! <laughs> run! run. run. <laughs> Does anyone have a chair? Does anyone have a chair? No! No chairs! Get back over here! Oh, oh shit! Coral grabbed Ari. Uh, she has him in a headlock. Oh! And oh, she body slammed him! Oh, I think his neck oh, no. is broken. If I hit the ground with my hand, does that do anything? No, it does doesn't it do it anything stop? at all. They don't pay attention to you. Why isn't the ref looking at me? Oh, I, I, I don't know how to use my eyes that I've just regained. Oh! Usor has got Roger in a leg lock. Ooh, look! Ooh, look! <laughs> Who's all about magic now, motherfucker? Though the rhymes were so rough you might get a contusion, this audio recording has reached its conclusion. See, it's actually harder than it appears. Wizard's Choice Award nominee, User of the Blue, was played by Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adol Refai. Coral Loft, Crypt Rummager, and Tiffany Scampy, former Mittens Ref, were played by special guests Nyla Rose and Aubrey Edwards. Nyla is a professional wrestler with All Elite Wrestling and a former AEW Women's World Champion. Aubrey is an actual professional wrestling referee with All Elite Wrestling. You can watch them not rummaging through crypts at AEW Dynamite on Wednesday nights and AEW Rampage on Friday nights. And follow Nyla on Twitch at Nyla Rose Beast. Okay, that's badass. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production made possible by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. Patrons get ad-free versions of every episode and two new bonus episodes each month. In the most recent bonus episode, Arnie, Usador, and Chant use a slam book to ask questions about what they think of each other. Oh, slam book, I suspect we understand each other a little too well. Here's a quick clip. Love you. Okay, now though, tough pivot here, because the next question is, something you hate in me, colon. Oh, Okay, and how much room is on the page? There's just one line. Oh, one ah, I gotta line. boil it down to okay. It's wow. like this. You wanna workshop this? Uh, it's like yeah, the yeah. same amount of space as you get for what my name is in your phone. Okay, I have to treat this like when you're cooking spinach and it's like so much, and then you have to reduce it down to okay, okay. Mm. Just one thing. Okay. Uh, oh. Let's just, uh, let's just, or, let's just or, eliminate well, all the physical stuff to start. Sure. <laughs> yeah, use, use it all. <laughs> yeah. While he's thinking. Have you noticed that since he started cooking spinach, it's like he won't fucking talk about anything else. I like know. He loves talking about how you cook oh, spinach. Oh, yes. He cooks one thing. Uh, yes, dinner's almost ready. Hope you boys are hungry for spinach. <laughs> mm, spinach and wine. <laughs> Little S&P. Get the uh, party boy, started. I can't wait till I get slammed because I know what I hate in him. Enough. For more information about the bonus episodes and lots of other Patreon-exclusive perks, stop by patreon.com slash magic tavern. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adol Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. This episode edited by Stefan Dranger. You can almost hear Stefan saying, Computer, what would happen if you played all the angry crowd noises at once? Special assistance by, uh, Rylar de Giggles. At least I think that's what it says. I spilled coffee on it earlier. On purpose. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. (laughs) 